you'll basically get this sound. Let me kind of show you. Hey, what's going on everybody? So Neural DSP asked me if I would make some presets for the new Mateus Asado plugin. So I figured I would go and break down the presets that I made for the archetype and kind of explain the thought process when making them and just noodle around a little bit. So let's just jump right into it. I'm sure by now you all are very familiar with the interface for these plugins. Your stomp section, so like compressors, overdrives, all that stuff. Amp section with multiple amps and cabs. Um, and then your cabs right here, so multiple cabs right there. Graphic EQ section, which is something I'm gonna you know dig into. That's something I love to use that I think a lot of people don't use that often. And then your effects section. Okay, so we'll start with the first preset. This one's beautiful clean. So you can get very, very good cleans with this plugin. Um, obviously there's a lot of the plugins that you can get some really good clean sounds, but this one offers like um, a more vintagey sound, kind of similar to the Cory Wong, but I actually think it's a little bit more, I don't know how to explain it. It's like vintage modern. It, it's like a high fidelity version of vintage sounds. Um, so yes, I used amp two for this, use the second cab. Um, compression, as you know, I use tons of compression, probably too much compression by other people's standards, but I love compression and a lot of it. And the EQ section, I took out a little bit of the 1K. It was, I think, a little too abrasive. And then just kind of like boosted up a little bit around 8K to brighten it up a bit. Um, and then use the, the echo and the reverb. All right, next preset, big lead. Okay, so this one pretty much explains what it's supposed to do. It has a lot of delay on it, so it's for bigger sections, not like really fast solos, though I'm sure you can do it and get away with it, but it, the delays are just like for huge big bends. Used amp three on that, which is like the lead amp, little bit of overdrive, some compression on there, and then the reverb and delay on that. Let's go to the next one, old time radio. So this one's kind of fun. Uh, you can, this one works very well for like lo-fi tracks and stuff like that. Next one is rock rhythm. This one's pretty obvious for what it says, which I kind of do that for all my presets. If you go through my presets, you know, you can basically see what it's for. It kind of bugs me when you don't know what a preset's for. If it's like just called big explosion or something like that and you have no clue what that's supposed to be. Of course, you should explore, you know, but I think when you're in a session and you're trying to find a specific sound, you don't have time to explore like exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Sometimes I even get down to the exact like split coil position that I'm in to show you like it's been 
massaged exactly to work for that sound. Obviously feel free to mess around with different stuff, but this is more so if you're in a session and you need this like a quick preset and you know exactly where to go for it. Um, so rock rhythm, pretty straightforward. <laughs> Next one, selective picking, the one you've all been waiting for. So yes, um, when it comes to selective picking, I have a very particular sound when it comes to these things. Uh, it's overly compressed. It arguably sounds bad if you play anything other than selective picking. And that's on purpose. It picks up every little detail, so that way you can play as light as possible, so you're not straining your wrist, but you have to be extremely accurate, it's, or it's gonna pick up all the stuff you don't want it to. You don't need this amp or anything like that. I could have done it with the first amp. I could even probably do it with the third amp, but you just have to control the gain pretty much. I like this one because it was a little bit more of a modern clean. So it was like less uh, vintagey sounding. So I want like a really crystal clear, like in your face clean sound and then compressed it. And then I sculpted it like heavily in the EQ, which I think a lot of people overlook using the EQ in this thing um, or these things I should say is it's there for a reason, you know, like you can sculpt your ideal tone with that. Like you can almost create any sound you want with these EQs within reason. And for modern techniques, in my opinion, they require very specific sounds of omitting certain frequencies and accentuating certain frequencies. And I think this is pretty much just like my go-to shape is where I like to get low mids um, and like low thump ish area around like 250 if you want some like lower information in your playing But you don't want to like subs or anything like that 250 is basically a nice little like thickening agent and It works really well um, And then I like to add 500 Hertz in because to me that's like the that's like the woody sound like tone sound now in metal That's probably not very useful But it works really well for like vintagey or like clean stuff because it it just adds a warmth to it and a woody sound that I personally love and then simultaneously I take out a lot of 1k because that's a little bit more of like nasally Honkier sound and then same thing with 2k and then slowly I start adding a little bit more in so like 4k While that's usually like not the frequency people love um, It works really well for clean tones because it just adds so much attack that's where the attack is going to come in. And then the 8K is going to add some attack and also some presence in the mix and liveliness to it. You'll basically get this sound. Let me kind of show you. Now, let me take off the EQ. It may seem a little bit over the top and it probably is, but I enjoy it smooth lead so this one is just more of a just a normal lead sound that i would use uh it's a little bit more smoother less huge sounding but it's still like a big nice lead Split coil riffage. So this one's a little bit more heavy coil riffage, basically. Uh, do some cool riffs on it. Syncata split coil. So this one's basically my, it's been like my main sound for like, I don't know, like six years or something. And uh, yeah. <laughs>
thump tone. It works for also slapping too, so. <laughs> Vintage single coil. So this one is super fun. It has like a lo-fi quality to it and it's just really smooth. Those are the presets that I made for Archetype Matteo Sassato. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you can get some use out of them in your sessions. Consider picking up a tab pack if you want to support me. Uh, tab packs go a long way for guitarists like myself and others. And it helps musicians like myself continue to do what we do. I appreciate the support and I'll see you soon.